Uh, do I have time for one more question? <clears throat> Who focused human beings into being? Was it extraterrestrials of some sort? You've answered this question before, or maybe it wasn't just this question, but it was a similar one. But yes, that's my question. <laughs> well, when you accept that you were source energy before you came into this mm -hmm. physical body, so there is all of this non physical awareness. But in the evolution of that which you are, in other words, the very first beingness on your planet were not humans or, or even dinosaurs, but even microbes in soil. Mm -hmm. But even those very elementary organisms were consciousness having expansion and having comparative experiences. So the evolution has been going on for a long time. Mm -hmm. As as you stand in here we want to answer the question this way first and then we will come back to any detail that you are still hungry for when you think about creation as we were talking as we first began here today that this leading edge environment is the furthest most place where source is focused mm -hmm. Can you accept that? In other words, source energy out here in you. And then you think about human consciousness and you think about what you're exploring and what you're deciding and what you are preferring. When you think about the desires that are being born within you, and then you think about source holding those thoughts and maintaining the frequency until that manifestation can occur. As you focus in that way, you can understand how this source energy consciousness is guiding this evolution. Mm -hmm. So all of the controversy over the difference between whether it is God created or, or evolution created, it is, it, it, it is both. It is source energy's awareness, mm -hmm. but source energy, this is the most significant part of this, the desire that source energy then focuses upon is discovered by the leading edge creator mm -hmm. who is physically focused so it's an expansion of consciousness mm -hmm. you have to accept that in the same way that your dream state is perceptual mm -hmm. all of this is too but you just get so good at perceiving it that then you want to call it this more concrete reality so thought does become matter so now ask your question again who created it consciousness okay and my question is about consciousness and how it interfaces with matter so a singular cell organism essentially even though it's just one cell basically has the same mental capacity if that's the right word as a being such as myself which is about 13 trillion cells on average not really the same mental capacity because it, it's clear that conscious a, energy is that a better term? there is conscious energy but the, the difference you think differently than the chicken even though you're both of thinking course, right. you think differently than the ant even though you're both thinking you think differently than the cells in your body even though they're both thinking Okay, so what I'm really asking is consciousness is not limited or defined uh, by the amount of cells in an organism consciousness whether it no matter how significant it is as in the case of a human body mm. or insignificant that it may seem in, as in the case of a one-celled organism consciousness is still having its comparative experience where it knows what it doesn't want and knows what it does want in other words there is always this expectation of improvement mm -hmm. and and so the consciousness of the trillions of cells in your body are all adding to the consciousness that is you you really can't separate one from the other mm -hmm. here's another way of going here and 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 we really are out here on the leading edge of thought but we think it will be satisfying to all of you we touched on it earlier it seems to be the theme of this gathering today when you accept that you are creator and you Accept that you are standing in an environment that is giving you the inspiration to expand and you accept that it's not just you that's being inspired it's all that has ever been that has been inspired then you begin to realize that 
the individuality that you're wanting to call you the creator is never as individual as you have thought that it was that all of source is flowing through you in any moment in time mm. here's another way of saying it because that got a little murky and some of you didn't follow it all the way through look at it this way so sometimes people will say so Abraham I'm out here and I'm mixing it up and I'm putting rockets of desire into my vortex of creation we say yes you are and they'll say and everybody else is doing it too and we say yes that is true even one celled organisms so so here is this vortex of request or desire mm. that source immediately becomes so then here you are walking around in your body in your day having your exposure to your life experience using something anything as your object of attention that is causing you to align with the fullness of who you are so all of that consciousness all of that knowing is available to you right here right now in this moment to one cell of the trillion so as you are focused in a way that is causing no resistance in your experience everything that has anything to do with you has access to all of that you see mm. so then you run around like that <laughs> <laughs> and you influence your mother and you influence your brother and you influence your lover and you influence in other words when when you are in tune with that so really but there are many points that we are making with that but the primary point that you were asking for that we really want to make central to this discussion is that when you take the time to feel good you have access to the whole of all of it and that doesn't mean that you could translate or articulate all of it right here this red hot minute that would be a pretty expansive moment in time but anything that is important to where you are standing and who you are being and what you are doing and what you are wanting then is available and that's why those highs in those moments feel so extraordinary people are always wanting to have the discussion of are we all one and we say that's hard for you to accept as you look around at your individual clumps on individual chairs but when you, but it is true that when you use anything as your excuse to resonate with that high frequency vibration that then you have access to everything that this source energy is that's always been flowing to you in any moment in time whether you knew that it was or not mm -hmm. In other words you don't have to learn this to earn this it's always been present but you have to you have to be in the vibrational frequency of it in order for it to be revealed to you or translated by you mm -hmm. Esther was saying to her sister this morning I always thought that what revelation was was that someone else like God would be really smart and if I was worthy enough that then God would reveal to me meaning God would tell me what he knows the revelation would come to me because of my worthiness and Esther said now I get it that the revelation always means I have to achieve a vibrational frequency that allows me to interpret it in other words it's not someone else giving it to me it's me achieving vibrational alignment with the knowledge that the whole is achieved and and so look at it this way you as an individual creator are putting plenty of knowledge into your vortex but there's a whole lot more knowledge that you haven't put there that is there and is available to you mm -hmm. DNA knowledge cellular knowledge there's all kinds of knowledge that is available to you that you can't and don't want to articulate and don't have to all you have to do is find some reason takes 10 minutes to feel good and as you find that reason to feel good now you are in a vibrational frequency that allows the translation or the revelation of everything that you're asking for you see mm -hmm. and that really that's the best definition of what people are reaching for when they use the word worthiness that we could fashion in other words when you get it that source is there for you and logically speaking must be way more than you are but vibrationally speaking you have access to every bit of it so that when life causes you to ask what you're asked for asking for is given once you show yourself that then then you begin being the being that you came to be mm.